Hiya loves! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching my first video, which was all based on red, as you could probably see by my salmon... It's not orange, it's more salmon, but it's as close to orange as possible. Orange tank top! Today's video is all about the orange. <laughs> Fantastic! Okay, so let's crack on! What I have done, I've already put a wig cap on because I'm gonna start, I'm gonna wear a wig for today's video. This long, gorgeous, ginger layered, giving you some Jessica Rabbit fantasy. The primer today, I've already gone in with the Revolution Pro Mattifying Hydrating Primer Serum, and also the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. <laughs> We're going to go in today with some natural flesh tones, which means if you watched the last video, I said that I wasn't going to colour correct my beard area or anything like that because I would need to because I was using red. Today, because my face isn't going to be full orange, it's going to be more of a natural flesh tone face. I'm going to have to colour correct because my stubble, even though I've shaved, and my brows, even though they're covered and everything, are still dark bluish. If you can kind of see, they've already still got those kind of undertones. So to colour correct today, I'm going to go in with a Cryland Super Colour in the shade 288, which is a nice orange colour that's going to counteract all of this blue. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to finish this, bounce it out with a beauty blender, and I'll be right back. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly, didn't it? Now I've done this, now we can start going in with the flesh tones. And like any trusted drag queen will know, a, a thick foundation is always the best, so I go in with TV paint sticks. Lots of them. And what I've done, just in case when I'm in a rush or it's in my kit somewhere and I can't find the correct shade, I've actually labelled on the lid what I use for my face, what I use for my highlight, all that jazz. So my base shade in going in with is ND. My highlight shade is going to be a mix of two, and um, it's going to be a mix of G111A and also 070, which is like a star white shade. And then for my contour, I'm going to go in with 9W. Okay, let's do this. So the highlight, the contour, everything is down. I've put loads of powder on, really packed it in, and I'm just going to dust the excess off really quickly, and then we're going to carry on to the eyes. Now I'm just going to quickly start to do the eyes. With the eyes, what I like to do is a trick that I learned from the Queen Blue Hydrangea on RuPaul's Drag Race UK, is put a cream product down first in the bright colour, powder over that, and then when the eyeshadows go on top of those colours, they are even more vibrant, and honestly, it's a trick that I've been using for a while now, and it bloody works. So, I'm going to go in with some oranges, yellows, and start building out and sketching where my eyes are going to be, and then I'm going to powder them, ready to go with some shadows afterwards. Let's do it.
So now I've got those like kind of cream colours ready and ready to go. I know kind of the eye shape I'm going to go for. I'm going to start buffing it with the face with all of my contours and blushes, sticking with the like peaches and the orange tones. The contour brush I'm using today is this little mini one here, which actually my mum got me. I think she was this was the first contour brush that my mum got me. For bronzer, I'm going in with this giant Kiko. Oh, look at how you can see. Oh, that in there. This giant Kiko bronzer. It is gigantic. And it smells like chocolate. It's amazing. This is from their summer collection last year. It's called... Ocean Feel Perfect Tan. Ooh. And this is going to be great because I can just go in. It's got a cute little mirror on it as well. And I'm going to go in and... Pat and circles. blush palette from the last video. She's back, back, back again. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with this beautiful orange shade, which I believe was the same one I used in the last video as well. Not sure. Comment below if that's true. Oh, I am a YouTuber telling you to comment on my videos. As it's drag, I'm going to go in with quite a lot of pigment. One thing I will say about these blushes is there is a lot of kickback. So when you tap into it, it is a, there is a lot of, a lot of kickback, but if you've got the pigment, I don't really mind it, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going from the deepest part of the contour, I'm going to bring it down and really go heavy on this blush. So I've been on a big Morphe hype again recently, going back to some golden oldies, some newbies. Um, today I'm going to crack open, again, as multiple times, the James Charles Morphe palette, just because the colours are everything you ever need. As you can see, this palette has been well loved, it's a bit of a mess, but there is this gorgeous orange shade here, which is really vibrant. That's going to be perfect for going as a diffuser kind of transition shade for a bright colour. Um, I'm then going to go in back with some Kryolan shadows because the Kryolan shadows are really good formulas. Um, I made this gorgeous little trio up and I'm going to go in with probably all three. These shades are SM, Mandarin and Turmeric. Gorgeous. And to maybe we'll see how we're going there. But also I do have this fabulous Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, aren't and gorgeous. And I think what I will do is go in with these like gold foils here on the center just to really give that kind of halo eye a bit more of a shimmer. And yeah, so let's get cracking. One thing I find with colorful shadows is it's best to kind of press the, pack the pigment on first and then swirl. If you just go straight into the swiping and the swirling, the payoff might not be that well, but might not be that vibrant or as close to the Pantone as possible. I've done I've kind of gone all over the orange in that James Charles orange shade and on these parts of the eyes here and here I've kind of just carried on the orange as if they're going up and out I feel like all of a sudden this is taking on a bit more of a cat vibe now I'm not gonna say I might be going in a different direction but I might be going in a different direction <laughs> right cute then I'm going to go in with that orange shade from the Krylon palette that I've created which in the shade Mandarin. This can act as the kind of deeper orange shade. Yeah, that's cute. And that can get brought out, up and out a little bit as well. Get another fluffy brush and go with that shade Turmeric kind of buff around the edges of the orange to kind of diffuse in some yellow.
leftover orange in the shade Mandarin. I'm going to use this and just kind of go down my nose slightly as well. Just so I can kind of bring some um, through line into the rest of the face. Liner. I'm going to do some liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just gone in with the HD Cream Liner in the shade Cacao from Krylin. It's gorgeous. Uh, it goes on like a nice gorgeous cream and then sets matte. You've got about an 8 to 10 second window to have a play with it, so it's stunning. I've done that to kind of outline where I want my liner. This under underline here to kind of bring out this cat, more like cat-like features that I'm somehow going with. I'm now going to set it with some shadows and I'm going to go in, because it's in cacao, it's a brown shade, I'm dipping into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette in the shade Prow, which is this cool brown shade here. That's going to set that, buff it out and hopefully I can start to then create some definition just to make it a little bit deeper in the sockets of the sockets of drag. Okay guys, so I've deepened the crease in some of that dark brown shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I've brought in the liner a little bit further into the inner corners and winked out a little further, add some, added some white in there as well, just to really try and give this cat-like effect. However, there's not enough shimmer on this lid. So like I said, I'm going to go with a couple of the gold shades from this. I'm going to go in with Classified and Coin, a mixture of the two, just to dab on where the yellow is. Don't worry if you go on any of the liner because I can just go straight over that with some of that dark shadow again, it's absolutely fine. And now on to the fuck up. I'm actually going to go in with the same shade I used to colour correct at the beginning just to kind of get some orange down to start off straight away. with a little bit of dark red just to kind of deepen out the outer corners. I'm going to clean up the outside with, uh, with the shade NB which was my base foundation shade, put some glitter on my lips, a lash on and I will be back with the final look. So here it is guys, the final look. I put some lashes on, I did everything to kind of finalise it, get some glitter, and this wig girl. So this is a fabulous long natural ginger look um, from What A Drag. Go check them out, they're fantastic. I, I believe this one is called Lana, which is fabulous, she's very long and probably the only kind of natural shade wig that I own and I'm fucking living for her. Oh, she goes great with this orange eye. Fabulous cat mistress. I feel like I can dominate tricks the house down boots. <laughs> Catch me on my next video where we're going to be doing the colour yellow, sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Just yellow. Um, like this video, subscribe to my brand new YouTube channel. We've got to get those subscribers happening, going, boosting, yes. And also comment below on any ideas you want me to do for a yellow look. Could be a ball of sunshine. Should I turn myself into the sun from the Teletubbies? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I will link below the products that I have used and also, of course, what a drag for you to check out these wigs. They're fabulous. But yes, see you next time. Come